at 602 back here in New Mexico. Schools and grants are closed today and Cibola County government offices are on a three hour delay this morning, all because of some massive flooding issues. As we all know, New Mexico has been extra dry for the past two years, but the question has this last week of massive amounts of rain made up for those three years of dryness. News 13 Samantha McDonald is live at Wagner's farm up in Corrales to give us their perspective. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Matt. Well, you can see the fields have pretty much dried up from all that heavy rainfall, but the rain has left its mark. The plants are taller and there are more chilies. Right now, the plants stand at about four feet tall. Farmers tell me they grew about six inches this past week, and you can see lots of little chilies sprouting. There are about 10% more because of the rain and another a positive effect. The chilies are ripening earlier, all just in time for peak chili season. So in total, this month has given us over 3.35 inches of rain measured at the airport, and most of that came down in the past five days. I spoke with meteorologist Kerry Jones of the National Weather Service, and he says that amount of rain is a lot, so much that it has erased our precipitation deficits at the beginning of the year. But that's just one year in the big picture, so we are unfortunately still in a drought. But for now, the farmers here say the rain was a welcome change. We haven't had to irrigate. We've been kind of short on water this year because of the drought. We ran out of water, so in our fields were needing this water. So this rain really came at the right time. And Jimmy tells me that amount of rain was just perfect. Any more would have damaged the crops. He says even to just get in to navigate around, they need to wear big boots. Matt, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Samantha. At least there's a little bit of good news with those chilies. And we still have a ways to go to erase the entire drought. Meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke says we need at least an average winter in terms of snow to get us caught up. But it's still too early to tell if that'll happen. Certainly hope so, and I know the ski resorts do as well.